Hello everyone. I'm back with a Dollar Tree haul. I had the month of March was a no spend or it was budgeted for only bread. And so I'm back with Dollar Tree hauls. I hope you're excited to see what I purchased. I am super excited to share my first haul for April and for an entire month I haven't shared hauls with you guys. This is like, anyways, we'll get right into it. So I did um, show you in the Shop With Me video that they had a ton of new t-shirts out. And so I grabbed some of the men's basic, just basic t-shirts. So there was the gray. I got this for my son. There's this navy blue, it almost looks, it, it's a really pretty navy blue in, in person. There's the green, that's like a forest green. And then just the plain white, which is easy to match with anything. And I thought those colors were nice. You know, so I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. Anyone else drink their coffee in the morning if they don't have it by a certain time, do you start to get a headache? Cause I just start to feel off. What should I share? Okay, I'll share the, the boring stuff with you guys first. Um, English month, Muffins, they're the Dempster's brand. I just bought these so last week for $2.99 at the grocery store. I had never seen these actually at the Dollar Tree, so this was a nice find for me today. And then I got some of these, the Jacob's Crackers. I actually really enjoy these with some peanut butter, some jam. I don't know. They're fun crackers. They're nice and wide and they're just a soda cracker. They're called cream crackers. And these go for a lot more at the grocery store as well. I have never paid attention. I don't know if these are new or not. Um, I do normally film the pasta island. I have never noticed this before. But these are imported by Ital Pasta from Brampton. So it's an Ontario brand. Has anyone tried these or seen these at their Dollar Tree? I'm curious to see if they'll work well in my lasagna. I mean, they're just noodles, right? So it should work fine. Okay, getting into the fun things. I purchased some of the wood out cutouts. So these here have the little, um, oh, what is that called from the boat? <laughs> okay, it's not coming to me. You've got your little sailboat print and a little anchor. There's six pieces in here and I just, I have a DIY in mind to do with this. So I think that will be fun. I did purchase, as I shared with you guys in the shop with me, there's the women's and then there's the men's um, flip-flops. And I actually prefer the, the men's flip-flops and the reason is because of these uh, nice rubber straps in them. They're not twisted because sometimes if they are, they'll start to hurt you when you're walking. I ran into that last year, so just be sure that they're nice and even. I actually prefer the men's over the women's. The women's has a really thick plastic and it's not moldable to your foot almost. It kind of stays really stiff, so this one here I find more comfortable. And actually their soles seem to be a little bit better quality. However, there are really, really pretty prints for the women's and the men only have like more of the basic colors and I think a camo. Okay, so uh, the very beginning of March, I think, I walked into Dollar Tree like the first time that I hadn't been in after uh, for a while, and I spotted these beautiful candle holders, and I had to leave them behind, and I thought, oh, if they're still there in April, I will purchase them, and they were. Actually, I was really surprised with my walkthrough today. So I got the gray one and the white one. I have something that I would like to do with it in the spa room. So maybe I'll sh share with you what I've done with it once it's finished. I don't think I'll be using it as a tea light holder, but we'll see if, if my idea kind of works. If not, then that's okay. And I shared one of these guys was sitting right on the on the shelf for me. It was the last gold one and I had to have it. I just absolutely love it. Every time I walk by, I really, really thought it was pretty and it just, I love the hello and I think I'm gonna put it in my off in my craft room and I would also love to use it in some pictures and stuff like that so I think it's really cute and I love the color okay I bet you guys can guess what else is next there were a couple of these hiding in at the back when I found them I was actually when I was scrolling through I thought oh no they're all sold out and I missed out on them but once I got kind of to the back there were a couple more sheets so I did grab one and I'm super happy. They're so beautiful. They're really well done. And um, they have glitter and they're just really, really pretty. So I had to have one pack. And then I also mentioned that if I went back and found the purple pack and it was still there, I would purchase that as well. 
So there is that. Aren't they beautiful? I love these stickers. So I was super happy that when I did go in, I had some of the things that were on my wish list. I'm gonna take another sip of my coffee. I'm so dehydrated today. I totally should have my water, but how have you guys all been doing? How's your walking through the Dollar Tree these days? Have you been super excited to find some of the wish list items or have they been sold out or have you found some new goodies? Okay, so I'm gonna share the last couple items that I, I purchased and that would be the, I'm not sure if these would be carried I, maybe they're more like a local thing because I'm in the Toronto area. So the Toronto Blue Jays, they have these zebra ballpoint pens. And it actually says that they're um, 1.0 medium point. So there were these little clickers and then I got some of the pencils. And they're just the mechanical pencils but not with the little pop-up. And they have a really nice eraser up at the top and there again the zebra brand so I purchased those and that is my haul for today I did really really well and I'm super happy to be back sharing hauls with you guys and um, I hope you have all a wonderful day till the next video take care everyone bye, bye.